If you're like me and tired of looking down at your webcam while you're on a Zoom call, or if you're interested in having a nice camera set up right on your desk, just like what you're seeing now, then stick around and I'll show you how you can use your iPhone's camera as a webcam with your MacBook, all without needing any expensive software or third-party apps. So let's get right into it. Thanks to Apple's latest update to macOS Ventura, you can now use your iPhone as a webcam through a new feature called Continuity Camera. Now, I was pretty skeptical about this when they first announced it, but as soon as I got everything set up, I was truly blown away at the quality and the functionality of it. Now, a quick disclaimer here is that Continuity Camera is a feature that works on iPhone XR or later or any Mac operating and compatible with Mac OS Ventura or later. So really important stuff there. Before you get started, double check your iPhone model uh, and make sure everything's good to go. The first thing that you'll need to do to get set up is to make sure that your iPhone and Mac are signed into the same Apple ID so your devices can recognize each other. The next thing we want to do is make sure we're running iOS 16 or later on our iPhone itself. And we can do that by heading back into settings and then going to the about section to double check our iOS version. And on our Macs, we want to be running Mac OS Ventura, which we can double check that as well by going up to the top left corner, click on the Apple icon and then click on about this Mac. And then we want to ensure that continuity camera is also turned on. It should be on by default, but you can double check by going to settings, general, AirPlay and handoff, and then double checking that continuity camera is turned on on your iPhone. Now, once that's done, you can open up almost any app on your Mac that uses a webcam and your iPhone is going to be listed as a camera option. It is truly, truly that easy. And again, it's insane, the functionality and just how com compatible and easy this is to use. Now, the next thing we want to do is to mount your iPhone above your monitor or somewhere on your desk so that it's more or less at eye level and can get you looking up at the camera. For me, I had an old phone mount and a friction arm from small rig laying around that allowed me to position my phone so that my rear facing cameras were just above the top edge of my monitor. But this isn't the only solution out there and there's loads of different options to choose from. So I've left some links down below uh, for some that you can take a look at to see whatever's gonna fit your setup best. And a little pro tip here too, if your monitor has a USB port, which most do, you can plug in your phone to your monitor to keep it charged while you're using it as a webcam so you don't drain your battery too much and lose your camera in the middle of a meeting. Now, after you get your phone mounted the way that you like it, we can get to the fun part, which is playing with the different video settings you now have access to. So these are going to vary based on which iPhone model you have, but let's take a look at them here real quick to see what we can do. So if you go up to the toolbar on the top right and click the settings icon, you'll see a box labeled video effects. Here we can see which application is currently using our iPhone as a webcam. You can turn on things like portrait mode, which is what I have on right now to give me that blurry background. And then you have studio light, which will darken down your background just a little bit and brighten you up as the subject to really help separate you and create a lot of depth in the shot and just make things really pop. And then last up, we have center stage, which this is a really cool feature that, you know, if you need to be up and walking around or something, it's going to detect the subject and constantly keep you in the center of the frame as you move around. And then last up, there's desk view. Now, this one is pretty wild. What it does is it takes your wide angle lens from your phone and using software gives you a top down view of your desk in case you're working on something on your desk and need that bird's eye view. And there you have it, a quick overview of how you can up your Zoom game or start making videos just like this, just using your phone. If this has helped you in any way, please do me a favor and hit that like button and share this with someone who maybe can get some value from it as well. That's it for right now. I'll catch you in the next one.